What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who this is. It's Mr. Warmack, and I'm uh, definitely in the building. And let me tell you why I'm getting a little bit lazy as far as doing these podcasts at first, but that's not the topic of this video, but I want to explain something to you people. I took um, basically the last two, three years, if you look at two of my videos, uh, one I squatted 315 with 20 reps, that was my first time going back in the gym, the second time I squatted 500 10 times, that has been my focus for a minute now, is getting sort of back in shape. I mean, I never really was out of shape. You guys just saw me, like you thought it was out of shape, but most of y'all couldn't do what I'm doing now, so you said it was out of shape, but that was another thing. But what it was is I'm getting older, so I figure I see a lot of I see a lot of people dying in their forties and fifties. And I'm in my forties, my latter forties basically. So I wanted to uh get in better shape. Well, I wasn't in bad, terrible shape, but I want to get in better shape. So I was hitting the gym four days. No, I was hitting the gym five days a week, and now I'm hitting it four. So now I'm in a period of where I'm trying to lose a lot of fat. So I, it's easier. I can do these podcasts because I can take my recorder, and I can just hit and run and use the recorder. So I was setting up my gear, sitting down, talking, and do this, that, and the fifth. So I was a video. I mean, I still do on videos. But once I get where I'm at, where I feel comfortable as far as my weight-wise, as far as how I look, talk to my trainer, this and the third, then I'm going to go back do more videos as far as then as opposed to podcasts. But podcasts like this is pretty easy. I mean, anybody can do them. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket science. So let me get back to the topic at hand. Today's topic is, uh, I'm going to tell you guys, do your own research for crying out loud. And let me say why I gotta make this video. Don't you you do a video and you do like listen to this and I want you don't want you to jerk off and cry about or I get my information from how do I know this. I do my own research. Even if I have to pay for information, there's a such thing as look this up, goofballs. It's called the Freedom of Information Act. And the Supreme Court has declared if your channel runs like mine and certain other channels, like go like 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 black, you give them like basically information and talking about society, shit like that. They can send you a news outlet. Cause Nancy Pelosi has a problem with that, and that's another I did a video about that. So if you don't know about that, it's your own fault. But they can send you a news outlet. They consider us like a Fox News, like an MSNBC, like a Huffington Post. That's what they think that's what they consider all of us, they consider us an Alex Jones channel like that. And you're giving news to the people. So therefore you are considered a news outlet. It's the Supreme Court ruled on this a while ago. So what I do is, that's why I never go in on specific people, because I don't want to make it personal. Now if you're saying something stupid, I may make a video saying, well this is why I think this is wrong, X, Y, Z, and tell you this, that, and the third. But I never go in on a specific person. I never make it personal. It's always business. But as far as doing research, people will always say something stupid like, well, where are you getting your info? That's wrong. I'm getting info from, like, credible sources. I posted videos of Bope in Brazil where they were firing on anybody in the streets and drug dealers. Look at the video up. Nobody else got that video. You have to be a news source to get that. I, ask me how I got it. I got videos up of, uh, oh, there uh, attacks in Syria. Before anybody else was talking about attacks in Syria. I asked me how I got it. I was talking about ISIS. And then people were like, people know I know my facts about ISIS, and they were saying, how do you know all this? i check out my facts. Now I'm going to sit there and say, I talked to ISIS. What do I look like? They don't want me to fall by the, a fucking white van. Bad enough, I'm going to fall by the vans anyway. Because like I said, if you listen to what I say, even parts of the government say I know what I'm talking about, and that's why they put a little bit of pressure on me. But they ain't going to stop me because I ain't saying nothing that, like, that jeopardizes, you know, National security. Cause like, like, let me put it to you this way. I'll give you an example. Remember when Obama gave Syrian quote unquote rebels sixty million dollars 
And we were that was just like some money. We were getting more than that probably, but that was what the number they gave us. Then uh, maybe it was like a couple weeks later, all of a sudden ISIS is here. Now how you feel? Now what do you? I mean, I mean, put two and two together, people. I'm just saying. I mean, if you give the Syrian quote unquote rebels the ones that were fighting 60 million, and like two or three weeks later. Here's ISIS. What, what do you think? The do, they're the dominant player in the region. What do you think? You got to be pretty stupid not to put, connect the dots. Then again, I don't think a lot of people are stupid. I think a lot of people don't want to know this because they don't want to know what their government really does. And let me put it to you this way, ladies and gentlemen. The United States is one of the most oppressive governments in the world. Now, you may not think that. Yeah, we gotta, yes, we do have our freedoms, but they're watching you. Do you know that they can tap your cell phone anytime? Don't let them fool you with this bullshit. Well, his, his cell phone's off. We can't triangulate. They can triangulate your cell phone even when it's fucking off. They can turn your cell phone fucking on. You, for, Ladies and gentlemen, you're forgetting the military made this equipment. So if the military made this equipment, don't you think they know how to do counters? That's another thing. People will say, well... Uh, you're just you're just blowing smoke up and no, I'm literally getting like when people come to me in my inboxes. They're like, how did you know that? Cause I I do my research and yes, I may have to talk talk have to talk to some shady characters on the internet, but as long as I'm getting information that's truthful and I'm not lying, I don't care. And like like I I have talked to like some shady individuals and don't forget, we got a lot of shady characters in the states. But you people don't want to believe in that. You want to think, like, oh, you're just like, like, yeah, you like, you like how life, your life is. I mean, I can't blame you. I like, I can't complain. We do have it better in America than a lot of other countries. But as far as like, as far as you being spied on, trust me, you're being spied on. Like I said, they can turn your phone on any time they want to. They can turn your webcam on your camera, and I mean, your webcam on your computer. They can turn that on, and look at you. The military invented the internet. Don't you think they got countermeasures to everything? A lot of people were being blindfolded, willfully, no, willfully ignorant. And then a lot of people say, well, I don't care about politics. You don't care about politics until it comes knocking on your door. Then all of a sudden you want to come to me like, what do we do about X, Y, Z? And I'm like, look up my video. I'll tell you how to do this. That's like, let me go to school, you guys. I don't make a lot of money on my, on my you know, I'm off of YouTube. I mean, people think people, there are people that make money, but you got to hustle on your videos. You got to do a lot of BS, and I'm not willing to do that. Now, where it comes good beneficial for me is people put their my videos on their blogs and stuff like that, or if somebody has a paid site, I'll say, go ahead, and we work out the deal. But I ain't making no millions. I ain't making enough where I can literally say, I can retire. It's how it is. But as far as doing your own research, it's better for you to do your own research. That way when people come to you, worse comes to worse, if you ever get pressed on it, you can, here it is. But that's not me. I don't do that. I don't care if you try to put pressure on me and say, well, what about your research? I say, I look my research up. And then number two, what do I look like doing your research to prove me wrong? A lot of you pull this, like, psychology that's I don't know where the fuck you get it from. It's like the stupidest thing I ever saw. Well, where did you get your research? I think you're wrong. So what? I'm going to prove you right or wrong by busting off the chops to prove you right or wrong. I'm not doing it. That's in your corner to prove me wrong. And if you can't do it, sit down and shut up. And that's the problem. you got too many speakers and not that many people know about it. But this is a video, I mean, a podcast saying, do your own research. It's not hard to do. A lot of you don't have jobs anyway, so you ain't got nothing to do. Like, there's some people in here that talk about how they sue this, they sue that. You go on information that you see they lost the court case because they didn't have enough evidence. But they come on get YouTube and tell you something else. So, be wary and be awake. That's all I'm trying to say. But as far as me doing your research, nah, ain't happening. So, all right, peace.